guys, here we go. Uh, we're getting into lesson 10. Uh, lesson 10 is very, very similar to lesson 9. However, instead of adding, we're going to be subtracting. And we're going to be using modeling and thinking about place values. Um, and it's going to be amazing. So here we go. Let's do this. Hey, buds. Let's get into uh, lesson 10. Here we are, L10. Here we are, L10 on 9, 26. 18, yeah. and then tomorrow's color run, and that is going to be so much fun. But before we get there, let's do some work. We're going to be subtracting, as I mentioned, and let's start with this first problem. I, oh, I should have set up my fancy place value charts with the straight lines. I'm just going to do the best I can today. That's all we can do. Here we have five tenths, and we're going to take away three tenths. So I'm just going to label place values. You guys know those are tenths and you guys know these are ones. And so let's just model this. Five tenths. One, two, three, four, five. So we have, we're starting with five tenths and now we're going to take away or cross out three tenths. Goodbye. One, two, three. We're taking away three tenths. We had five tenths. We took away three tenths. What are we left with? Two tenths. What does two tenths look like in decimal form? Well, that's pretty amazing. Looks just like that. Cool, huh? Um, I will pause. Let's take a look at this one next. We are starting with this, seven ones and five thousandths, and then we were taking this away. So let's go ahead and model what we are starting with. We are starting with, on the place value charts, we are starting with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. And then we also are starting with five thousandths. Four, five. So we have seven ones and five thousandths. Tenths are blank and hundredths are blank because we don't have anything there. Now we're going to take away we are going to take away, notice with our subtraction, taking away is just done precisely as it sounds. We're just going to go in and cross off, I'm just not interested in these color options. Um, we're going to take this away. We're never even modeling two ones and three thousandths. We're just going in and crossing out two ones and three thousandths. Um, on top of our seven ones and five thousandths because what we have is here and then we're going in here and taking away from that. Okay, so we're going to take away two ones. Goodbye, goodbye. And then we're also going to take away three thousandths. Goodbye. One, two, three. Okay, now we're left to deal with what do we have um, remaining on our place value chart. Well, I still have five ones and then I still have one two thousandths. What does that look like? So I have five ones and two thousandths. We don't have any tenths. We don't have any hundredths. So seven ones and so seven and five thousandths minus two and three thousandths is equal to five and two thousandths. Okay, here's where things are going to get a little bit more interesting. So here we have, we're starting with 83 tenths, and then we're taking away 6.4. These two numbers are in different uh, languages. This is in unit form, this is in standard form. It's difficult to compare numbers when they're in two different languages. So let's go ahead and rewrite the expression so that these numbers are in the same language. So 83 tenths in standard form is 8.3. So we have 8.3 minus 6.4. So we're starting with 8.3. Let's go ahead and model that here. We have 8 ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 ones and we have 3 tenths, 1, 2, 3. Now what we're going to do, friends, is we're going to take away 6.4. You are going to take away six ones and four tenths. So let's let's first take away our four tenths. What one, two? Oh dear, I don't have four tenths. <gasps> what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Okay, let's go back and make sure that this is even possible. Can we take six point four uh, from eight point three? Is eight point three larger than six point four? 
Yes. We're going to have to regroup. Okay, so nobody panic. Here's how we're going to handle this. We're kind of go we're going to do the opposite essentially of what we did yesterday. Um, so one, I'm sorry, one one right here. One one is equal to ten tenths. So what we can do is we can lasso up one one, and we can regroup. Um, we can unbundle it into 10 tenths. So we can trade out 1 1 for 10 tenths. And we can make it work. So it's no longer 1 1. Now it's 10 tenths. And that's totally cool. We can do that because 1 1 is equal to 10 tenths. Okay, now let's see if we can take away 6.4. Let's start with our 4 tenths. Can we take 4 tenths away from what we're dealing with right now in tenths land? Uh, I think so. 1, 2, 3, 4. Great, okay. So we took away our 4 tenths, and now we need to take out our 6 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, sweet. Now let's figure out what we have left. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 tenths. And we have one, one left over. What does that look like in decimal language or standard, um, standard form? 1.9. Very good. Nice job not panicking there. That was a little, a little dicey. Okay, here's one more good one. Um, 9.2 minus 6 ones and 4 tenths. Ah, they're in, this, they're in two different languages. We have standard form and unit form. Let's rewrite our expression so that both of these numbers are in standard form. So 9.2 minus 6 ones and 4 tenths. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and since we're modeling right now, let's go ahead and jot down a quick place value chart. I love you place value charts. You're so helpful. I'm just going to label our place value. We have ones and we have tenths. I think that should be good for now. Let's go ahead and think about what we're doing here. We're starting with 9.2 or 9 ones and 2 tenths and we're taking away 6 ones and 4 tenths. So let's model that. So we're starting with 9 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 ones and now we need the 2 tenths. No problem. 1, 2. Let's grab another color. You probably can't see me doing that off the screen. I feel like I've used that. How about a purple? Nice. Um, now we're going to take away six ones and four tenths. Ah, we don't have four tenths. What do we do? What do we do? Don't panic. Just go next door. Tenths and ones are very friendly because here's the relationship. I can unbundle one ten for, wait for it. Thank you, Emma. Ten tenths. You guys remember, don't panic. You can unbundle one ten for ten tenths. It's not a one anymore. Now it's ten tenths. One, one equals ten tenths. Okay? Don't panic. Now do I have enough to take away four tenths? Oh, I think so. Okay, cool. So we unbundled one, one for ten tenths, and now we can go ahead and just do our subtraction. So we're going to one, two, three, four. Cross out four tenths. Uh, and then we're also take, crossing out six ones. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now let's see what we're left with. In our ones category, we have one, two. This is no longer a one. This benevolent, generous one unbundled itself into ten tens to help help its neighbor out. Okay, so we have two ones there. And then how many tenths are we left with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. So final answer here, 2.8. Two ones, eight tenths. How cool is that? We will continue this um, amazing work tomorrow. Uh, I can't wait for it. And hope you guys have a great afternoon.